In this video today, we will learn how to improve the performance of a React application using dynamic imports. So what I mean by that? So let me explain the code first. So we have some basic examples of we have having a pages folder which contains three pages, home, profile and settings. Then we have routes that contains the routing, which is this file. Let me show you this. So all is done. I mean, all of all this is done. Now home is slash home settings is slash settings and this is profile. If you go to the respective routes, let's say profile, you will see that page or the text here. Now what I want to show you now this is if you open the networks tab, refresh it the page once, you will see this bundle bundle.js. So what is this bundle? So when the entire app compiles, it transfers the entire content into one file. This JavaScript file called bundle.js. Fine. So why do we need to use dynamic imports now? Because this one that we're having all the imports here, they are called regular imports. But we have one more thing called dynamic imports. So what is the difference? So let me give you an example first. So let's say we have a big box, a very big box, and we have lots of items in that box. So it can be hard for us to find any item if we look into that big box. But if we separate that big box into smaller boxes, our like our task will be easy. We can easily find the items that we're looking for. Similarly, it's not preferable to have a big bundle like this. If we want to, if we want our react app to have greater performance or big, get good performance. So in that case, we can split the bundle inside smaller bundles. Where I mean, because say we are on the profile page, but we are still loading, it's still loading the home component, but we don't need it and the settings component that we don't need. We only need profile for now. If we so if we go to the home page or home component, whatever, it will load the entire components or all the components called home settings and profile. So to avoid that, we can use dynamic imports. And now let me show you how to do that in react. So our first step is to do this. For example, let me go to the home component. Or before that, let me create one more folder called components. In this, let me create one home page or home component called home.js. Or uh, let's say home component.js. Let me make this component as a functional component and import this component inside home. So we can say import home component from components home and just add it here and copy the home h1 tag and place it here. Now the same thing will be here. No changes. Fine. In the home.js, we are importing the home component, which is the regular import, normal import. Now let me convert this import into dynamic import. So first of all, we need one state. So to get the state, I mean to create the state, we need the use state. And now let me create the state here called const. Let's say home component. Or just say component. Component and set component. Component equals to use state and null value. Initially null. Now we have a state which is called component and in the state we need to set something which is the import dynamically. So we can create a function called load component that will load our component dynamically. It will be a function like this. Okay. Fine. And in this we will have another variable called loader equals to await 
so we need to have the function as sh because that will run in the background so await import and just add the import path which is this and save now we have a loader which contains this import now when you set this loader inside the set component so we can say set component loader i mean let's make this as a callback function so we can say loader dot default fine we have a function but we need to load it so let me create one use memo hook like this and just have it here so use memo just works like the user vector but the thing is it will not load when there is no change inside the component so we can say load component function and add this dependency and as empty now we need to render this component here not this thing so let me comment out this and just say if component exists just render this component and if it is not existing just throw an empty fragment here fine so now let's see our output refresh the page and you see previously we had only one bundle this now we have another bundle and it says i mean it is called src components home component or js dot chunk dot js whatever it is called so if you look at the size let me okay let, how to do this let me collapse let me refresh it once more okay so this is the bundle called source so how to check okay let me just resize my chrome window now if you see this chrome window on the right we will have this src component bundle name if you hover this component i mean let me hover this we will see the component chunk name which is this so src underscore components underscore home component underscore j underscore js dot chunk dot js so let me just revert back to the previous code i mean have the home component render here now if you save and refresh you see the bundle size is something around 416 kb kilobytes fine okay we have to decrease it and increase it like this it's 416 kilobytes now if you revert back to the dynamic import let's check the size of the bundle refresh the page now it is 416 a little bit slow i mean little bit less so and now it is 302 bytes and this this component is uh, 299 bytes or let's say 300 now let's do the same for other as, as well which is profile so we can import this thing directly here and make a state called component here and create one function called load component which is a synchronous function but before that we need to make the pages for this so we can say uh, profile component dot js and okay it's not a folder it's a file so profile component dot js and setting component dot js so in the profile make a functional as well and here as well but we need to import settings component here so import settings from okay yes okay not pages what is happening so this we created as a component okay we have to do it here in the settings.jsx so import settings component and add it here and return and copy the settings h1 and paste it here 
close this and uh, now we need to import the profile component here or just add the import so we can say uh, components slash profile component in the profile dot jsx now save and we will see only two bundles here for now as you see also let me make this as h as an h1 profile and see so let me go settings for now we don't need it now so in this just need to do is call the function on the use memo so just copy use memo and add it here and we are done now all we need to do is just have okay wait a second it is in component is in pages yes we are doing it right no problem hmm. so remove this h1 profile and check if component exists then return the component as a react component else return one empty fragment now refresh the page we will see this thing i mean we will not see the profile bundle now because we are on the home page so let me go to profile page okay profile profile page one second i think it's wrong just add profile yes now we will see profile page we refresh it and the bundle is now src component profile component underscore js dot chunk if you go to home component we will see the home bundle here and the size of this bundle dot js has been decreased so much now let's replicate this for settings component here so just copy all of these things and okay it's a page yes let me sneeze but it's not coming okay just copy the import component as a state and these two things as well which is the function load component and the use memo so save and just load the comp i will add the component loading here copy this and add it here fine now we have settings i mean we have the import for settings as well but this will be settings component so we can remove this import now refresh we will see the bundle of home here on slash home on profile we will see the bundle of profile and on settings okay settings what is the route for settings page open routes index it's just settings with an s so we'll see the bundle of settings here setting component dot chunk dot js so the size is 1.4 kilobytes and it only loads i mean a, a bundle only loads when we are on that component that respective component so if you are on home component the bundle of home will load as well only but on settings the bundle of settings will load only and same for profile so that is the way of importing things now in react i mean in create react app if you are using vid and let me show you what is the vid so it is a tool just like cra or create react app that we can use to create react applications so this uses rollup but this cra uses webpack and this dynamic import we get in the vid as default we don't need to set like this we get it as default fine so that's all for now please like my video and hit subscribe button on my channel